Pig Ale time is three o'clock and Radio London is now closing down. Hello and welcome to An Englishman in the Balkans. I'm David and today is Monday, August the 14th, 2017. And this really has a very tenuous Balkan link to today's vlog. And I'll try and explain why in the shortest possible time, why. Um, many, 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 many years ago when I was a teenager back uh, in the UK living just outside London in a county that really no longer exists called Middlesex. I lived in a place called Hounslow, Hounslow West. It used to be at the end of the tube line, which goes all the way now into London Heathrow and to all the various terminals there. But all those years ago, that's where it stopped. And there weren't all the houses and built up areas that there are now. In fact, it was all full of trees and quite leafy, actually. But when I was a teenager, I got uh, my first taste of the interest of radio and radio broadcasting. Uh, and I used to listen to uh, radio stations that were based on ships around the coast of Britain and on forts. We used to have defence forts in the Thames estuary, a uh, hangover from the Second World War. And for four, four years, three years, three years it was, see? <laughs> Um, I'm starting to forget things. And for three years, I had a wonderful time listening to the latest popular music being played on uh, radio in the UK from boats. That's Cooper. Don't worry about him. And in 1967, when those radio stations were closed down, by law, rather naughty law actually, but by law, uh, it happened at three o'clock in the afternoon when they all had to close down. Um, on August the 14th, 1967. That's 50 years ago. It's a long time. Um, the history of pirate radio goes on a little bit more uh, until 1968, when the, first, when the last radio ship was closed down, and they all came back again. But I don't want to bother you about that. What I do want to say is that I think it was a very sunny August back then, um, and I, like all my friends at the time, uh, were glued to the radio to listen to one of the most popular radio stations, it was called Radio London, closed down at three o'clock and it felt like we had our lives ripped apart, you know, it's part of our culture, our youth culture had been taken away from us um, by our government. Luckily one radio station stayed, uh, I think it was only for another seven months, but nevertheless. But back then, 50 years ago, Today, at this time, I would never, ever, ever have thought that I would be living in the Western Balkans um, and living the life that I, I wanted to live. That was the furthest thing from my mind at the time. And I think back then I wasn't even thinking about the next week let alone the next decade, two decades, three decades, or whatever. But every year, on August the 14th, I do take an hour and just have pure nostalgia and think back. And I know that you shouldn't think back because it's all gone and you can't change it. But I do often think back um, to that day. And I suppose my memory plays tricks on me where I was, who I was with, was I was on my own, was I with my best friend Ian, who must probably be watching this and I'm sure he's gonna make a comment. But I think even even if he, even if I was with Ian at the time, and I, I don't think I was, but maybe I was, we both would not have been thinking about where we would be on August the 14th, 2017, and all the things that would happen uh, in between. Now I'm gonna place this post uh, on an Englishman in the Balkans because that's what I am today. Uh, I'm also going to put it, or most probably an edited version on Instagram, I'll see if I can condense this down into a minute, and also put a condensed version um, onto Twitter and use all the, the hashtags. But a disjointed Englishman in the Balkans ramble today, um, but yeah, 50 years ago, would never have thought I would be here, enjoying uh, being in such an unusual environment from that which I've 
uh, or I used to be used to um, back in the UK that I wouldn't have the pleasure of living with somebody that I find amazing living with cats because I was never a pet person and dogs considering I've been attacked severely by a dog in my life that I got that and of course that I'd be playing with a drone how cool is that so that's it August the 14th 2017 no pirate radio but life is still a blast and just remember you never know what you're going to be doing tomorrow it's going to happen and just get in there and enjoy it and I'll catch you on the next one when we'll talk about something more balkany. Bye for now. Wonderful Big L, wonderful radio, lots of